So, I've already shown you guys how to acquire a bunch of gear from random mercenaries that are roaming all around Greece. Now, I'm going to show you a bunch of the gear that you get from the uh, followers of Artemis. And I'm going to show you where to do it, how to do the quests, what you have to do in order to get the pieces. We're going to get started on this. I'm Dark Strider, the YouTube Assassin. We're about to get into this, but I'm going to preface this with the fact that this is not a build video. A couple of you were telling me a bunch of great ideas for like builds. And please, by all means, in the comments, leave those ideas because I, I think they're fabulous. But I don't want you guys thinking that this is a build video. This is a checklist right now for all of the gear that you could get from the Sisters of Artemis. So let's go. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to come to the Temple of Artemis and you're going to talk to Daphne, who is one of the daughters of Artemis. She's a hunter. You're going to come right there to the temple. As you can see, it's in focus. All right. And she'll ask you initially to kill the Caledonian boar. Once you do that, it'll open up all the other quests to kill all the other animals. Here, I killed your piggy for you. You are skilled. Of that there is no doubt. And you could romance her. I have plenty of talents. Of that you can be sure. Oh, is that so? Well, I look forward to putting them all to the test. Oh? And what did you have in mind? <laughs> Many things. But first, to business. There are beasts that roam this world, but are not fully of it. They've been placed here by the gods as trials, as tests. Neither god nor mortal has stopped me so far from achieving my destiny. Hmm, we will see. What exactly do you want me to do? I want you to prove your worth in the eyes of Artemis and hunt these creatures. I don't need to prove my worth to anyone. Just tell me what's the reward. With each pelt you return, I will grant you a boon from Artemis. If you are able to slay all the beasts, well, let's say your relationship with the daughters of Artemis will be forever changed. All right, I'll do it. Now, just how many of these animals are there? Artemis has laid out eight trials, and you have already started the journey. Hunt down those that remain. How will I recognize the creatures? Oh, you'll know. Bring the pelts to me. I'll await your return with my sisters, the daughters of Artemis. I hope you don't make me wait too long to see your face again. So there it is. And then all you have to do is hunt down all the beasts that she asked you to. So every time you hunt down a beast, you can return it to her and she will give you a different piece of armor. So as you can see. Callis Little Bear will give you the waist piece. The Aramethian Boar, which a lot of people have problems with, will give you the gauntlets. The Hind of Kyria will give you the hood. The Cretan Bull will give you the chest piece. The Crocatus Hyena will give you another hood. The Lyconian Wolf will give you feet. The Nemean Lion will give you a weapon, it looks like. Now, that's kind of odd that you get from the hyena a hood, and you also get from the from the hind another hood. That's kind of odd. All right, we're going to explore this. Here we go. The hind of Karenia is really not that hard to find or fight. I'll show you exactly where it is. It's going to be over here in the Adbanthus Islands. Not that far from focus. So you're going to come over here. And you're going to take this thing out. And like I said, depending on your setup and everything, it's really not that hard.
Giving up the Heinz pelt will earn you, besides Daphne's favor. It was an honor to hunt such a noble beast. For all the suffering and death I've seen, when you see something as magnificent as this, words escape me. <laughs> Artemis was right to bring you to me. A warrior's heart beats within your chest, yet it is tempered by kindness. I'll return when I have more pelts. Master's Artemis Hood. So now we gotta figure out what the other hood is. We'll see. So one of the beasts you're gonna have to battle is the Crocodus Hyena. And it's not that hard of a fight. You just gotta dodge, shoot from a distance. Every once in a while, just hit him with the hero strike. And you'll get him eventually. Just so that you know where he is, he's over here on Kytheria Island, which is far to the south. As you can see, if you're over in the area where the arena is, it's just to the west of that. And you'll be able to take him out. So now, once you have the hyena's pelt, I'm actually interested to see what happens when you return it. Because it looks like you get another hood. Go back to Daphne. Here, the hyena's pelt. Take it. These flea-ridden carrion eaters disgust me. We must learn to see the beauty in all things. You're right. It's just an animal doing what's in its nature. Aren't we all? I'll return when I have more pelts. interesting it did not give anything at all although it did show that it was going to give a hood now that's pretty odd let's see did it increase my hood no that is so weird on to the next animal The Cretan Bull, or Cretan Bull, is actually going to be over in this area, the Fertile Battlegrounds, which is over by the arena. There's the arena right there. So you're going to go way west. Here's the Minotaur's Lair. And basically, just like with all the other creatures, a lot of timing, a solid build, and a lot of arrows are going to be your best friend. put up quite a fight but his pelt is yours you are remarkable no more than the bull the gods have blessed us with a world of wonder and we should honor it spoken like a true daughter of artemis even though he's a dude i'll return when i have more pelts so as you can see you receive the outfit for returning the bull pelt Callisto the bear isn't that hard of a fight. You just have to watch out in the arena. You'll see all those trees. The bear will knock those trees down. You could use them for cover. Uh, you might also want to use explosive arrows to kind of push it back from attacking you. And then implore the same strategy that you've been using. It's not that hard of a fight. It really isn't. It might take a little bit. But if you've got a solid hunter build, you'll be doing even better than this. And then just also remember to stay away from the edges of the arena because you will leave the fight and the bear's health will regenerate. And just as you've seen with my Arethmian boar uh, tutorial, you could actually get a bunch of other uh, mercenaries to like come in and, and help you out. Callisto Bear, 
I wish I'd had the chance to see this creature in the wild. It must have been stunning. It was, but there are other things on this earth far more beautiful. And wild? If not, then where would the challenge be in pursuing it? So you return the pelt, you get a little flirty flirty, and then afterwards you get your reward. There it is, Master Artemis's belt. The uh, Arethmian boar is actually a pretty big pain in the rear. You're going to find this boar over here in Ellis, and you'll see right there, that's where you want to go. Now, the boar is actually going to spew a lot of just gas that will kill you. Um, you're going to want to make sure that you really have like a, a good setup. You want to be able to kind of kill him and, and get out of his way. There he goes, just tooting away. Uh, stay away from the gas-filled areas after he gasses them. It will make you sick. And, uh, you know, you just, you want to be able to just fight them, kind of keep them at a distance and just keep working that. And like I said, just make sure that you've got like a great setup and you're able to like just take them out. The other way is by using the, uh, the method that I used before, which was using the mercs in order to bring them over and have them kill them for you. That's something you could try if the boar is a little too hard for you. But like I said, as long as you have a good setup, you saw I already took like half his damage, you should be able to do it. So once you return the boar pelt. Far harder to kill than the Caledonian one. But I've yet to meet a pig that can't be skewered. The gods chose well when they sent you to me. I follow where the gods lead, and they led me to you. <laughs> they have a sense of humor. How so? We will talk of the gods and their wishes once the hunt is done. I'll return when I have more pelts. There we go, Artemis's gloves. On to the next one. This time, when you go to deliver the pelt to Daphne, she's not going to be in the same location she was. She'll be over on the Petrified Islands, which is completely east of the map. So you're going to go to this area near the uh, hunt, the hunted forest of Artemis. So she's going to be right over here, and we're going to give her the wolf pelt. And she'll give you the final piece of the armor. I'm glad to see you. Daphne, I didn't think you would be. The path I set you on is fraught with danger. You could have been killed or given up. No danger could have kept me from seeing you again. Maybe you're getting ahead of yourself. Maybe. The pelt of the Likaon wolf. A wolf is not only a vicious predator, but a cunning adversary. Many have fallen before it. If I fall for something, it won't be a beast, but someone here on Hios. Don't talk of falling here. Rather think of ascending. To new heights. I'll return when I have more pelts. So there we are. Now we have Artemis's treads, and we have one more pelt to hunt. Finally, the Nemean lion is going to be in an area, obviously surrounded by lions. Look at all those things, and of course, it's the biggest one there. Now, in order to find it. You're going to be right here. Here's Argolis. It's really not that far from a lot of other little hunting spots that we were at. It's going to be in the southern area. Sinkholes of Heracles. Of Heracles, sorry. And you're going to attack it. You're going to try to kind of focus on him and make sure that whenever you need some more energy some more uh adrenaline that you're actually attacking the other lions but again with a very good hunter build you could take this guy down real quick
once you've obtained the final pelt from the Nemean line, just Be walk sad. right up to her and speak to I her again. To see you again. The Nemean lion's pelt. Magnificent. As is its hunter. Strength is powerless in the face of beauty. Even Heracles fell to its sway. You slay me as easily with your words as your weapons do these beasts. You haven't seen anything yet. So the final item is going to be the Pandora's Copus. Let's take a look at it. As you can see, it's a legendary sword. It has a lot to do with hunter damage, uh, damage on animals, and just if you decide to do a sort of beast master kind of build, this is good, having 50% damage and 100% health for tame beasts. But that is all the gear. That is the last piece that you will find. There will be no more hunting quests for any of those animals. The only thing that you're going to do is you're going to meet her on the hill so that she can give you a final task. The final task is called Artemis's Request. And it's not really part of the legendary set. Sisters, as decreed by our lore and set down by Artemis herself, the time of my trial has arrived. To that end, I present Alexios. Should I be honored or concerned? To be safe, I'd go with a little of both. Enough with the mysteries. I want the truth. Every generation, Artemis sends her messengers into the wild. These creatures are assigned to her daughters that a challenger walks the world. One worthy to lead. Lead? What are you talking about? Defeat me in mortal combat and take up the mantle of leader of the Daughters of Artemis. Refuse, and you shall be nothing to us, as you were before. Leader? Yes. Kill me and the Daughters of Artemis will be your allies. The gods have brought us together for this moment. Whatever your choice, there is no turning back. Now, there's two different ways of doing this. You could actually fight her, or... And if you do fight her, you end up killing her, leading the uh, Daughters of Artemis. Whenever you go to any of their camps or anything, they'll leave you alone peaceably. If you decide there's got to be another way, then they're just going to get mad. They're going to continue to fight you, and you're not going to see Daphne anymore at all. No, it's not my place to lead your people. You coward. Then go. And do not look back on us. Your path is not ours. But I thought... Another life, perhaps, but my body belongs to Artemis. Leave, and do not think of me again. Not another step, Mistyon. Get out of here! So now with that, you are banished from the village. And of course, like I said, if you do it the other way... Artemis, my fate is in your hands. Daphne! My heart may belong to you, but my duty is to Artemis. And that's all there is to that. Please, take care of my sisters. Whatever our differences. I have to know they're safe. I don't know how to live up to your legacy, but I'll try. I'm glad to leave my sisters to someone I... love. And that's it. In this version, you are now in charge of the Daughters of Artemis, 
any of their camps are available to you. So that's all there is to that. And now you have the complete set. So all you have to do is just check the video, make sure you've got what you need, see what you need. And there you have it. So just drop in the comments below. Is there anything else that you want to see? Is there any legendaries that you're looking for specifically that I can help you with? Just drop it in the comments below and I'll try to help you out as soon as possible. Again, like I said before, this wasn't a build video. This was just how to acquire the pieces of the armor. All right. Now we'll also get into the cultist thing. And once we do those, I want you to know there's going to be spoilers. I will say it in the video as well. There you are. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, tell your friends and family to like and subscribe. It helps the channel out an awful lot. And speaking of helping out the channel an awful lot, check the link below because there's going to be a uh, merchandise company that I'm working with called Beautiful Halo. They have a bunch of different items that are game related. A lot of great Assassin's Creed hoodies, things like that. But they also have other games as well. On top of that, they also have a line of clothing and lamps, things of that nature that you may want to get. It's June. It's time for dads and grads. Maybe pick up a gift for yourself or a family member. Something along those lines. Again, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it.